Hey guys! As you may all know, I use an eagle skin as my regular Minecraft skin whenever I record a video. This is because when I bought Minecraft, the eagle skin that I'm currently using was set to default and as an impartial person I am, I stick with the skin ever since. But despite my buoyant attitude, people kept questioning about my skin and why I'm using it. So I made a poll about one month ago whether I should change my eagle skin or not. And over 80% of the people had voted yes. So, I commissioned 3 professional Minecraft artists and 1 friend of mine to create my very own Minecraft skin and this was the result. First, I went to the world's largest online global marketplace, Fiverr, and searched through some Minecraft skin artists to find some talented people who could realize my fantasy for my new Minecraft skin. While I was scrolling through the website, I found 3 professional artists to make my skin and the names are Yondi Arts, Goosey Arts, and Elshi. They're all wonderful people that always prioritize the customers and was very polite even though I messaged them at around 1am at midnight. Sorry guys, I didn't mean to text you guys in your sleep time. Of course, I asked whether they are fine with my introducing them on YouTube and all of them happily approved it. Before we get into the actual skin introduction itself, I need to tell you some important factors about creating the skin. There are 4 teams while making the skin, that is, Pig, Bacon, Creeper, and Frank Pan. I know, the theme sounds extremely bizarre, but while I was thinking of the themes, this word just came out of my mind. The reason for the pig theme is because my YouTube name is Fried to Crisp, and I have a pig icon. For the bacon, since my username is Frying Pan, as I assume most of you guys didn't know, I imagine about frying a pig, resulting in the theme bacon alongside with Frying Pan. Lastly, the theme creeper also came from my YouTube icon, that is the creeper pig, and by the name of the creature, you could guess where the theme creeper came from. So, that's all the reasoning for the themes, and finally, time for the skin reveals. First, we got a skin from Yondi Arts. I love how the creeper and the pig are fused together, producing a chimera look that is somewhat cute but terrifying at the same time. Also, altering the ears with bacons are super creative. I'll definitely give 10 out of 10 on creativity. Next up is Goosey Arts skin. It is much more simplistic compared to Yondi Arts one, but isn't the face cute with those two pixelated black dotted eyes? But, as I look carefully, I notice one crucial detail missing. Where's the bacon? Well, definitely minus marks on the bacon. Hmm. <clears throat> on the second thought, it's too cute. 10 out of 10 on cuteness. Next, we got Elshi's one. Whoa! The coordination with the bacon suit and the trendy sweatpants are remarkable. I also got to mention how the frying pan is positioned to look like a metallic cap to match the drip. Overall, everything are well coordinated. 10 out of 10 on drip. Lastly, as I've mentioned about having one friend of mine involved in this project, here's my good friend Sylvie's skin. To be honest, when I first saw this skin, I was lost for words on how complex and well colorized the skin was. You can tell that every pixel is placed carefully not to ruin each element's assets. I felt like my friend done more than I've asked, but I can say that, that what makes him a special and reliable person. Needless to say, 10 out of 10 in effort. And there you have it. All 4 Minecraft skins that I had received from commissions and friend power. So, which was your favorite skin out of the 4? Please comment down below. Also, I had made a poll on the YouTube community chat to decide on which skin to use for my future videos. So please vote on the skin you thought was the best and let's see the results approximately 1 week later. Well guys, this is the end of the video and if you enjoyed it, please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome videos. Till then, see you next time.